Grove. In this short tutorial, I'm going to show you how to log in and access our ebook and audiobook platform, which is called Access 360. And the easiest way to do that is from the Grove Junior High School website. You would go to Students, LRC. On the left side, under Quick Links, you want to click on Access 360. And then you want to make sure you log in to be able to check out books. So you log in on the top right corner. You may uh, see this screen looks familiar to you, and that's because you are going to use the same information that you use to log into your Destiny account. So for your username, you type in your complete email address, and your password is your student ID number. I am going to log in to show you how to navigate the site. My login is different than yours because I'm a teacher. But again, for students, it's your complete email address and your password is your ID number. So once you log in, there's a few things you can do to search books. So the first one is you can look at some of the um, lists that are already made. So featured books are new books that have been added to the collection. So you can kind of look through here and see what books are available. We also have all the books that are categorized as fiction in one place. Then we have uh, nonfiction books also in one place. And then we also have a section of all the books that are available in Spanish. Now, some of these books are ebooks and some of these books are audiobooks. Um, the way that you can see which one is which is um, ebooks have this book on the top left corner, and audiobooks have a little um, headphones on the top left corner. So, this is an audiobook, this would be an ebook. So, let's say you don't find what you're looking for through this method, you can also use the search bar. You can type in um, the name of the book or maybe the name of the author depending on what you're looking for. I'm going to search for the book uh, Grenade by Alan Gratz. See if they have it. So again you can type in the, the title or you can type in the um, author. So I know they have it. I'm gonna try the author now. Sometimes it does run a little slow, so just be patient. There it is. So this is a book that I was looking for, Grenade, and you can see that they have it available as an audiobook, and they also have it available as an ebook. So sometimes, even if you spell the title correctly, it doesn't come up. So again, either try the title or try maybe the, the last name of the author. So let's say I want to check out Grenade. So I can click on Check Out, okay? And it'll refresh, and it'll show that it's uh, available now, so you can listen to it, or if you check it out as an ebook, then you will be allowed to start reading it, right? So ebooks, you can read them on your Chromebook, um, audiobooks, you can listen to them. Um, let's say you want to read a book, but you don't want to read it just yet, you can add it to your wish list. And the way that you would do that is you would select the book. And instead of placing a hold or checking it out, you can say add to wish list. Okay. Now, when a book is not available, it will say place hold. So if it doesn't say check out now, that means that it's not available. You can place a hold and the very first time that you do it, if you've never done it before, it's going to ask you for your email address. Use obviously your school email address. Um, and the reason for that is when the book becomes available, they will notify you via email. They will let you know that the book is ready and you have 48 hours to go and check it out. If you don't check it out within that time frame, then it'll go to the next person that's waiting for it. So you can go ahead and place a hole like this. Okay, it's not gonna ask me for my email because I've done it before. So you only have to enter your email the very first time that you do it. Now, um, a few more things that you can do once you're looking for books is um, if you use these three little lines over here, you can see which books you have checked out. So currently I have three books checked out. Now you can have up to five books, whether they're ebooks or audiobooks, you can have five total. And you originally check them out for two weeks. Um, at the end of two weeks, if you haven't finished reading the book or listening to it, you can extend it for one more week. But you do have to renew the book. And then after that, it does get returned. Because it's electronic, you don't have to worry about returning it. It will autom automatically return and just be deleted from your account. Um, you can also see any books that you may have on hold. 
Okay, so you can see how I had placed this book on hold. If you change your mind, then you can just go ahead and remove the hold. Okay, now sometimes it might show you that there's a very long wait for a book. It might say like 90 days. Um, that just means that there's a lot of people that have placed the book on hold. Um, they do tend to have multiple copies of the books, so don't get discouraged. I can guarantee that that hold time will, uh, that wait time will not be that long. Go ahead and place the hold and then just keep an eye out on your emails for when it's ready. Um, you can also see the books that you've placed on your wish list. You'll see that I have a lot. So again, this is just kind of like a, a running list that you may have of books that you want to get to at some point. And then um, if you place them on your wish list, they'll be easier to, for you to find instead of having to look through them um, through the search bar. Um, so that's pretty much it. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Um, that's pretty much what you can do with this platform. Again, definitely take advantage of it. Check out ebooks, check out audiobooks. Let me know if you have any questions or if you know, you're having any issues logging in. Okay, um, so that's it. I hope you found this helpful. Thank you for listening.